Prophecy, Isaiah 11 verse 10 in fulfillment, John 12 verses 18 to 21. The Gentiles seek him. The prophecy in Isaiah 11 verse 10 foretells a time when the root of Jesse, a descendant of David, will stand as a banner for the peoples, and the Gentiles will seek him. This prophecy signifies a significant shift in the divine plan of salvation, where God's redemptive purposes extend beyond the borders of Israel to include all nations and peoples. The fulfillment of this prophecy can be observed in the Gospel of John, particularly in the events surrounding Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Let us explore how the Gentiles seeking him became evident during this crucial moment. 1. The Triumphal Entry In John 12 verses 12 to 16, we witness the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. As he approached the city riding on a donkey, a great crowd of Jews who had come to the Passover feast gathered around him, waving palm branches and hailing him as the King of Israel. However, it is crucial to note that among the crowd were also Gentiles, non-Jewish people who had heard about Jesus and were drawn to him. 2. The Greeks Seek Jesus In the same chapter, John 12 verses 20-21, we encounter a significant event that directly relates to the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast approached Philip, one of the disciples, expressing their desire to see Jesus. Their seeking indicates a growing interest and recognition of Jesus' significance beyond the boundaries of Israel. 3. Jesus' Response When Philip and Andrew conveyed the request of the Greeks to Jesus, he responded with profound words that affirmed the fulfillment of the prophecy in Isaiah. In John 12 verses 23 to 24, Jesus declares, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Here, Jesus acknowledges that his redemptive mission would indeed extend to the Gentiles symbolizing the abundant fruitfulness of his sacrifice for all humanity. 4. The Universal Appeal Throughout his ministry, Jesus demonstrated his openness to all people, regardless of their ethnic background. He reached out to Samaritans, Romans, Syrophoenicians, and other non-Jewish individuals, showing that his message of salvation was not limited to a particular group but was intended for all. 5. The Great Commission after his resurrection, Jesus commissioned his disciples to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. This command reflects the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy, as the gospel message would be proclaimed and received by people from every nation, tribe, and tongue. The fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy in John 12 verses 18 to 21 highlights the universal appeal of Jesus' redemptive work. The Gentiles seeking him signifies God's loving plan to include all people in his salvation, extending his grace and mercy beyond ethnic boundaries. As recipients of this marvelous grace, we are called to embrace and share this universal gospel with others. Just as the Gentiles sought Jesus in the past, people from all walks of life continue to seek him today. As we respond to their search with love, compassion, and a commitment to proclaim the truth of the gospel, we participate in the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy and become vessels through which God's redemptive plan reaches every corner of the earth. May the example of the Gentiles seeking Jesus inspire us to be messengers of his love and grace, making disciples of all nations, and testifying to the truth that Jesus is the Savior not only of Israel but of the whole world.